Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Literature with Purva. In today's video, we are going to talk about Matthew Arnold's famous The Touchstone Method. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Matthew Arnold talked about his famous Touchstone Method in the study of poetry published in 1888. So in the study of poetry, Matthew Arnold talked about the function of poetry, the importance of criticism and how critics estimate a poem. It is while talking about how critics estimate a poem, he gave his famous The Touchstone Method so that critics can properly evaluate a poem according to its merit. Let's first take a look on what Matthew Arnold said about the function of criticism. So Matthew Arnold said that the function of criticism is to create an intellectual climate for the flowering of creative culture. He said that the primary function of a critic is to see the object as it is, that means objective criticism, without letting his personal prejudices, personal biases to influence the criticism. Matthew Arnold said that the job of a critic is to create a current of fresh and true ideas and that the critic can pave the way for high culture, can improve the culture. So those are the things that Matthew Arnold talked about the function of criticism. Next, Matthew Arnold talked about the three ways in which critics estimate or evaluate a poem. Number one is personal estimate. Where the personal prejudices and personal biases of the reader kicks in. So it depends on the personal preferences of the reader. For example, if the reader enjoys reading thrillers, then he will rate thrillers higher than books on some other genre, than books on some paranormal genre or romance genre. So the personal bias of the reader kicks in. Next is historic estimate. So historic estimate, in historic estimate, the critic always gives more importance to the historical background of the text. That when is the text written? Is it written during the Renaissance or during the Romantic Age or during the Victorian Age or during the First World War? When it is written? So when critics give a lot of importance to the historic background of the text instead of the innovation, instead of the creativity of the poem, that means that the critic is using historic estimate. And lastly, we have real estimate. So in real estimate, the criticism is objective, no personal bias, no personal prejudices kick in. And the critic balances between looking at the historical context and also looking at the innovation and the creativity of the poet. So Matthew Arnold said that the real estimate is the right way of analyzing a poem. But during Matthew Arnold's time, the critics were either using historic estimate or personal estimate to judge a poem. Matthew Arnold gave his famous The Touchstone Method to critics so that they can properly analyze a poem. The Touchstone Method is also called the Comparative Method of Criticism. So Matthew Arnold said that iconic poems serve as the barometer to measure or judge other poems. They provide the standard against which other poems can be judged. He said that time-tested classics such as Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, Dante's Divine Comedy, Shakespeare's plays, John Milton's Paradise Lost, these time-tested classics, they are like the touchstones with which we can measure other poems by comparing. For example, if you think that Starbucks is the place that makes the best coffee in the world, then for you, Starbucks is the touchstone. Now, wherever you will have coffee, you will always compare that coffee with the coffee found in Starbucks. Because for you, Starbucks is that touchstone against which you will compare every other place's coffee. So that is what Matthew Arnold meant by the touchstone method, that the time-tested classics, 
they act as the touchstone against which other poems should be measured, should be judged. So the touchstones given by Matthew Arnold are three passages from Homer, three passages from Dante, three passages from Milton and two passages from William Shakespeare. Matthew Arnold said that a critic should compare a poet's work with these passages, with these touchstone passages. Matthew Arnold said that if the poem moves the critic in the same way that the touchstone passages have moved him, then only the poem is a great work. So that is what Matthew Arnold said about his famous The Touchstone Method. So that's all about today's video where we looked at Matthew Arnold's Touchstone Method. If you found the video helpful, then do like it and share with your friends. I'll be back soon with a new video on a literary work. Thank you so much for watching. Do visit our online academy www.learningliteraturewithpoorba.com to discover courses and classes on English literature and creative writing. So we already have an online course on literary criticism and theory which you can study at your own pace. So do check it out and sign up for it if you find it useful. Also stay connected on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.